Hello, and thank you for watching this regional forecast update for the Canadian Prairie. I'm Andrew Pritchard, Senior Meteorologist with Nutrient Ag Solutions. Well, we are enjoying our 24 to 48 hour warm up across parts of the prairie. We get a little bit of uh, ridging across the region right now, some warming coming in in advance of a big coastal storm that has just been slamming. Uh, British Columbia, the Pacific Northwest with coastal rains, high winds, and some high elevation snows. So we've got temperatures climbing above freezing in some places. It looks like three degrees in Medicine Hat, one in Saskatoon, minus one in Regina. The warm air not making its way all the way to the east at this point, minus two in Winnipeg for the, uh, the early Wednesday morning temperature. Now, here's the satellite picture. Here is the big storm. You can see the cyclonic rotation within the clouds there. I'll go ahead and do this once again. Again, much of the moisture now coming in, fanning out. Uh, we got some snow falling north of the prairie, uh, across the northern portions of the prairie provinces. And we'll get a little corridor of snow through the, uh, the ag belt here uh, as we go through the next 24 to 36 hours. So let's flip it over. Let's look at the radar. Mostly quiet here as we get started on Wednesday morning. Perhaps some flurries, uh, some snowflakes uh, in the Grand Prairie kind of surrounding areas. Maybe some flurries here in Calgary as we get going over the next couple of hours. As we take a look at the NAM model, though, this will help us time out our little corridor of snow. It's a quick moving system. Uh, we'll be dry for much of the day today, maybe even some sunshine in parts of the prairie. It's as we get into uh, overnight and to, into uh, Thursday morning. Uh, so overnight, snow should begin falling in Calgary. Maybe a rain-snow mix as you get over toward Medicine Hat, changing over to mostly snow flurries here as we get into Thursday morning. And then this thing quickly cuts from west to east across the area during the day on Thursday. So here would be Thursday morning, again, Snow primarily across southern Alberta, spreading into southwestern Saskatchewan. As we get it to noon on Thursday, snow, corridor of snow heaviest across southern portions of Saskatchewan. Moving across the Saskatchewan-Manitoba border late in the afternoon on Thursday. And then by the time we get to a Thursday evening into Thursday night, that snow will be moving into southern Manitoba, dropping a light coating on the Winnipeg area before it tapers off Thursday night into Friday morning. So by the time we get to uh, Friday morning, we should have high pressure moving in. We should see plenty of sunshine and dry conditions across the prairie on Friday. Lots of sunshine by the time we get to Thursday or Friday afternoon, I'm sorry. Uh, Friday night, getting into Saturday, again, we'll keep high pressure in the area, mix of clouds and sunshine, but dry conditions. Uh, and as I was looking for the story here, you know, thinking, what's the story across the prairie over the next five to seven days? It's this little system that drops a corridor of snow here. Uh, across the ag belt, much of the ag belt could see at least a, a you know a fresh coating, uh, up to five to ten centimeters of snow uh, with that system here Wednesday night into Friday morning. But then on the back side of that, the jet stream kind of flattens out. So let's take a look at that. We're looking at 500 millibar heights and anomalies. And as we bring it back here, we've got this amplified pattern, the Pacific storm here, that that trough on the Pacific coast. We've got that ridging that's moving in. And then another trough on the other side here as we get over toward the Atlantic. So here's our little warm up. This is what we've got now, that big coastal storm that's slamming uh, the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. Uh, as we get going over the next 48 hours, we get that little system that sneaks through, drops a little quarter of snow, and then we really flatten out. The jet stream becomes kind of disorganized. We don't have real intense flow, no real focused, uh, really big storm systems here for maybe five to seven days. Uh, and it looks like we kind of keep this pattern until uh, maybe we get to mid to late next week when there's the potential we could trend back toward Amplified. We're, we're certainly going to resume a pattern uh, that's kind of sending storm systems on this trajectory sort of out of the Chukchi Sea through the, uh, the Gulf of Alaska and then from northwest to southeast across the prairie. So shots of cold air, additional snow are likely in our future across the prairie provinces, but probably on the other side of the next seven to ten days but as we flatten out we get a little bit of ridging uh, it's still going to be pretty cold uh, because we got a lot of snow on the ground across the prairie this is a map here showing uh, the current snow depth here on wednesday morning across the prairie and across the north central part of the united states and we have already got a lot of snow on the ground here not so much in in calgary and winnipeg uh, specifically but uh, much of the prairie got a nice thick snowpack going we've got a very wintry vibe and so even with the jet stream kind of flattening out, uh, we've got a lot of ice on the ground and that's gonna keep temperatures uh, a little bit on the colder side 
as we head through the next seven days. So on the left, you got your next seven days, the temperature anomaly on the right, you got the precipitation forecast. So we've got opportunities for some precipitation. You know, we've got the one coming over the next 24 to 36 hours. We could see additional flurries even as we head through next week. And then the potential that as we get into mid to late next week, we kind of maybe resume a pattern that's tossing some opportunities for some accumulating snow at us. Uh, so I would say over the next seven days, what's the story? Temperatures not swinging so much, but still going to be pretty cold. So more stable, but cold temperatures. Uh, and then the opportunity just for some additional light coatings of snow. So continuing the wintry vibes here, though, and maybe not so much with the extreme cold and the, uh, the heavy uh, snow falling across the region. So here's the European model, the operational run. We can take it a little bit further out, and this will illustrate things a little bit better. Again, that snow north of the prairie as we get started on, on Wednesday. We get as we get into the overnight into tomorrow morning, that snow beginning across southern Alberta and then quickly moves from west to east across the prairie during the day Thursday into Thursday night. High pressure by the time we get to Friday, sunny skies, keeping things a little bit cold. Uh, that high pressure is going to linger here as we go through the weekend, though. That should keep us really quiet. We'll have, you know, sunshine at times, crisp, cold air uh, across the region, but at least, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pause the snowfall across the region. So, let me go a little bit quicker. I have a habit of doing this, just sitting here talking slowly while I uh, skip forward through the forecast time. So here we go, high pressure Friday into Saturday. We're taking it now into Sunday. There you go, maybe a light flurry or two, not really accumulating anything, but there's that chance for some snowflakes as we head through the backside of the weekend. High pressure though, still dominating as we head into Monday. And then now we're getting into that, that period here, Tuesday into Wednesday, Thursday, where, uh, again, we've, we're going to have storm systems coming back in. We are going to resume a more active pattern, one that's sending cold air uh, and the, the opportunities for accumulating snow into our region as we get onto the other side of the uh, November 25th or so time frame. So, again, the next week, temperatures kind of stabilizing. The opportunities for some precipitation. Here's the, the forecast over the next five days. Liquid equivalent, we're talking about five centimeters, or I'm sorry, five to 10 millimeters of precipitation. Uh, and then that snow, again, just a corridor here. It's gonna get much of the ag belt here along and south of high, Highway 16, uh, but we're not talking about a corridor of you know deep crippling snow. We're talking about a fresh coating, anywhere from trace to maybe five to 10 uh, centimeters of snow. So here's your temperature forecast in Calgary. Again, uh, we've been on the roller coaster here. We're getting that warm up today. Four for the high, minus seven tomorrow on the back side of this storm system. But then look at that. We stabilize, but still on the cold side, a high of one uh, for, you know, five of the next six days or something like that. Medicine Hat, here's your forecast. Saskatoon, again, on the cold side, we've got a lot more snow on the ground in this area. So this high is going to be anywhere from minus five to minus 10. As we finish up this week and head into the weekend, Regina, you're anywhere from minus two to minus five. Uh, here you go in Winnipeg as well. Temperatures kind of hanging out just below freezing. Hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you again on Friday morning.